Good morning, everybody. I have just woken up, so I'm in my pajamas. Um, this is what my face looks like when I wake up. I put some lip balm on, but that's about it. If yeah, good morning. This is what I look like fresh out of bed. My hair is an absolute mess. And today I thought I would show you my skincare routine and my getting ready routine. I get acne very easily. I have done my whole life. Um, I used to like have severe acne, been on Accutane twice. So I tend to not wear foundation or concealer when I don't have to. So my day-to-day -day makeup is just eyes and eyebrows and lip balm. So that's the kind of makeup that I'm gonna be showing you today. And if you feel like you want more coverage, then add your foundation, add your concealer. I like to say that no matter whether you have acne or skin blemishes or anything, you don't need to wear foundation if you don't feel like it. Don't feel like you have to cover anything up because we're all human and that's normal. I plucked my eyebrows too much, so I like plucked my skin. And I've got like some tiny pimples, but other than that, we're doing good. And some redness over here because I got this lasered off, but it's still there. Um, yeah, so let me take you with me and also like to say that I have had my eyelashes perm, so that's why they look like this. First things first, clip that hair back. I know I don't have a lot of hair, but clip that shit back. And the top tips I can give you for skincare is just drink a lot of water. It really makes a difference. This is two liters. I got a giant water bottle because I get really annoyed having to like refill it. So I just have this on my bed and I sip on it throughout the night and throughout the day. At night time, I use this Dr. Bang Yuan Nano Bubble Cleansing Foam because it works best for my skin. However, I only use that at night time. So in the morning, I just wash. I'm back, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, and that is all I've done. I feel like I'm on Vogue. Like, hi Vogue, welcome to my skincare routine. The next thing I do is I get my two cotton pad, I bioderma, my cell water, and I use this to just cleanse my face, just wash my face. Now, I use this as well to take my makeup off. I don't use anything else to do my makeup off, I don't use any oils, I just use um, my cell water. Because it's gentle on my skin, and it works, and my skin likes it. Go in with my VT Cosmetics. They're from the Circus Skincare range. These actually work for my skin, and I wouldn't tell you about them if they didn't work for my skin. This is not um, paid collaboration or anything. What is this called? Donut and cleanser. Well, whatever, they come together. And it just feels so nice. Because I do Circle Hydrating Essence, only one pump, quite thin and wet, like it's, it's, it's very moist. But I have um, the Bioderma Moisturizer and it is, it's like a body ultra nourishing cream, normal to dry sensitive skin and my skin loves it. And it just feels so nice, it's very heavy, very heavy moisturizer and it doesn't fit everybody's skin type, but my skin type sucks in moisture. I'll step for what I always do every single day is I put my sunblock on, and this is really important, especially because I live in Korea and it's, it's very sunny here. So I always put factor 50 on. I put like a decent amount on. Now at night time, I would do exactly the same thing. I would add some eye cream. So this is a... Uh, Circa Beauty Cosmetics Mild Eye Cream. So I just add my eye cream at night time. I don't do it during the day. If I had any pimples, I would add these little spot patches and you just peel them off and put them on your pimple. So like, I'd probably put one on that pimple there and one there. Um, and then I would just go to sleep and take them off in the morning. Next thing I'm gonna do is I have some medication that I have to put on my skin because like I said, I've always suffered with acne and if I don't medicate it continuously, my acne comes back. I don't know why, but it sucks. And I know right now that sounds really stupid because you look at my skin and you'll be like, where is your acne? You don't have any acne. But um, I do, and I have a deep trauma from the amount of acne that I did have. So I make sure that I'm medicating my skin as directed by the doctor. 
so it's a topical cream it's a topical like ointment so i just kind of like put it on and i'm modeling as well i can't have bad skin which is a stress finish up with some bats bees vanilla lip balm and that is the skincare portion of the video done and for the makeup this is all we're going to use this is it <laughs> just watch okay eyebrow gel clear eyebrow gel anyone will do and we just i think this is actually an eyelash serum you know but it's the only one i could find that like properly gels down my eyebrows gel them down get those bad boys stuck down and if you have you know if you need to fill in your eyebrows at any point then now is the time to do it just get your pencil and fill them in here eyeliner waterproof eyeliner good old rimmel eyeliner how do people do that eyeliner on camera no this not happening boom eyeliner and then try and recreate it as best you can on the other side of your eye this is shit. oh well we roll with it I very rarely fix my eyeliner just because I can't. We're so nearly finished with our makeup look. We're just gonna curl the eyelashes and then put some mascara on. I have to say, I know that my skin looks clear on camera, but I have a lot of texture on my, like, can you see? I have a lot of texture, like I have a lot of scars from previous acne. I have texture on my skin. Oh, and I have some pimples there. This is not about getting rid of the texture. This is more like, I'm just trying to wear makeup where I know it's not gonna make me break out. Um, and if it does, if I do break out and I do have a pimple, I don't cover it with foundation. I do the same makeup as I always would. And then I just go out. Or if it's really, really, really bad, then I will put on a pimple patch because they're basically invisible and you can't really see them. Any mascara, any mascara will do. I usually prefer like the sky high mascara, but I'm running low, so I need to save that for important events. Wow, that was actually quite good. That's it, that's that's the makeup, that's all I do. And if you're feeling like you wanna add some more, then why don't you add some eyeshadow? Because that's fine, well, do whatever you want. Add foundation, add lipstick, add blusher, add eyeshadow. Sometimes I do this look where I wear eyeshadow. I do this look where I add some glitter underneath here just because I'm feeling like it. But it's really up to you. Like the best glitter I found is from Holoka Holoka. I wouldn't necessarily suggest this color glitter though because you know when you get like um, sleep in your eye, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> but this is, yeah, the glitters that I have. And sometimes I'll just put some glitters like around here. In fact, we might do it today. Yeah, why not? I'll just put it there. And there we go. A little bit of pink glitter. Doesn't have to be nice, doesn't have to be neat. Just has to sparkle in the sunlight. This is makeup done. And then next step is obviously this hair. This Does anybody ever, like else, do you ever sneeze when you put mascara on? Because sometimes I put mascara on, right? And I've just done perfect eyeliner and perfect mascara. And then I sneeze. Time to straighten. I love a quick getting ready routine. Okay, I've got one more step and then we're done. So I'll just go and get the last step and then um, we are finished. Okay, so last thing is we're gonna steal some of Jin's hair like putty. I think that since I have short hair, I've really started to use the hair putty a lot more because it helps style my hair. And just put it in, rub some of the fingers and I just put it in the ends, like just to kind of like give it some texture, you know? Last thing I'm going to do is uh, some rosemary root enhancer around my scalp. I have quite bad um, allergic reaction to living in Korea on my scalp. So like my scalp regularly like just falls out, it just dis disintegrates. So I get really, really bad itchy heads and really, really bad dandruff. Um, which is another reason I think having short hair is a bit better for me. So I just put, I find that rosemary really helps. So I just put it, just spray it. And all the places I usually get itchy head. I've still got the putty on my hands as well, remember? So I'm just really kind of like not being that keen about it. And then you have it. This is this is my skincare and makeup routine. I'm ready for the day. I'll just go and change my outfit and I'm here. Uh, guys, this is the final look. My dress is a bit big for me, so I've had to put a belt around it. But this is, this is today's look. I wanted to match my puppy. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. 
and we will see you in another video hopefully and i hope this is interesting can you say bye bye snowy he's so done with me say bye bye to the camera you just want cuddles don't you oh yes <laughs> okay i love you guys bye